Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to let you know about one or two new changes that Microsoft has recently made to Copilot. And if we head to our site panel in Microsoft Edge, as I posted um, a couple of days ago, you can now delete your entire chat history, basically with one click, and that video will be in the end screen. Now over and above that, we can also see now that recently, at the bottom, Microsoft has moved the buttons like add an image, add a screenshot, add a file from the left hand side of the chat box to the right hand side. So now all the buttons appear at the bottom and on the right hand side. So that's another little small change that Microsoft has made. Uh, not too sure exactly why they have moved it from left to right, but nonetheless, that's how. Um, it currently is and this seems to be on a controlled rollout. I've only seen it uh, in Edge Stable and also if we head over to Copilot Online I've only seen this on my Windows 10 device in Microsoft Edge. You can also see here it's been moved from the left hand side to the right hand side. Add an image, add a file. So not to show why Microsoft is doing that, but this seems to be on a controlled rollout. So that's the first of two new changes we're looking at today. And then the other is if we head over to Edge Canary and we head to Copilot, you will notice now that the character count and the character limit has been increased. So more balanced is now sitting on 4,000, where previously this was on 2,000. More precise and more creative have been moved from 4,000 up to 8,000. So that's a nice a character increase when it comes to the character limit per conversation. And the same applies if we head over to Copilot Online. We can see uh, the same applies. So more balanced is sitting on 4,000. More precise and more creative are now bumped up to 8,000 from 4,000 and more balanced was bumped up from 2,000 to 4,000. So a couple of small little changes and improvements um, that Microsoft has been making uh, in Copilot that's in the Edge browser and also online. And just wanted to bring that to attention in case you would be interested and you do find yourself using Copilot on a regular basis. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.